you can see there's a lot of water back here. There's the green moss I'm telling you about that's growing. And you can see it in the ground. And we're gonna stick that our meter in there, turn this thing on. And it's not going in. There we go. Showing up a little bit dry here. Ugh! Let me stick it in here, the ground. There we go. Yep, it didn't. We're getting different readings. And there it is. So it's showing up as wet. Um, we have a couple of fungal diseases going on right here. So we have, we bring it in closely. Um, this, this feels really moist, my knees on it. Um, if we put the meter into the ground, it's wet. Here's the fungal disease. And we've got a couple of types of fungus disease. We have a little bit of anthracnose. We have some large patch disease and some small patch disease growing. I'll show that in a minute. But look also the blade. It's shredded from the lawnmower. That contributes to lawn disease because you've got an open area where lawn and disease can penetrate now. It doesn't help. Over here, this is large patch disease happening. We're in the middle of winter still. This is winter. We've had a couple of cold fronts. We're checking this, and it's wet. Um, this is an indication that the lawn was left too long, too high, and the mulcher could not mulch everything. And that's what that is. Okay. And that's what that is, is you're seeing this got mulched and it's just, they leave it for too long. The height is almost okay. You know, it's about three inches. They're mowing it at two and a half. You could probably do better on that. The situation we're running into, this place just has way too much water. Uh, and especially for this time of year, temperatures are in the 70s, high 70s, low 80s. Um, we're still in that area where um, large patch disease is prevalent uh, here in South Florida. Um, so we're going to go ahead and adjust the, look at the irrigation timer and adjust that because I think that timer is off. Mm -hmm.